Grace and peace. My name is Dr. Keith K. Curry with my wife, Pastor Keisha M. Curry. We're the senior pastors of the Free and Independent Apostolic Church right here in the beautiful city of Jacksonville, North Carolina. Listen, today is a great day to have good church, but we got some rules. We call them CDC rules. We have capacity, which means we do not fill the building. Also, we wear our masks, and when we wear our masks, we cover it with our nose and our mouth covered together. We also have sanitizer stations where you will wash your hands and you'll get sanitized. We also social distance six feet if possible. Listen, these are the rules so that you can be blessed, you can bless God, and you can be saved. So please follow the rules so we can have great church. Listen, today is going to be a great day to hear from God. Intense prayer should be started right about now. Let's rest on our feet as we go before the Lord in prayer. Hallelujah. Why don't you put your hands together and begin to make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing, knowing that he is God. It is he that hath created us and not we ourselves. God, we love you today. We appreciate you, Lord. We honor you for your goodness and your mercy, for your patience and your kindness, for your long suffering and your love. For your blood, hallelujah, for the peace of God which passeth all understanding, for making ways, God, out of no way, we bless your name. Oh, God, for covering us and bringing us over, we bless your name. We thank you for being a bridge. We thank you for being a banner. We thank you for being shelter in the time of storm. We thank you, God, for being a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. We thank you for being everything, God, we needed you to be. And even the things, God, that we did not even know. Oh, God, we come before your presence tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As humble, God, as we know how. Asking, Lord, that you would have mercy on us. Forgive us, God, of our sins. We don't come into your presence, oh, God, taking it for granted. Oh, God, for some did not wake up this morning. But you saw fit to bless us with one more day and one more chance to give your name praise and glory. Even now, God, we ask in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that you would wash us in your blood, that you would sanctify us all over again. Oh, God, if you find anything, God, when you find those things in us that should not be, God, we're asking you, oh, God, to clean us out. Oh, God, to make us new. Purge us with his of God that we might be clean. And wash us, God, that we might be whiter than snow. Oh, God, we need a fresh touch from you. We need a fresh anointing, oh, God. Even the anointing of God that destroys the yoke of the enemy. God, we need burdens lifted, God. We need mountains moved, God, in the name of Jesus. We need you, oh, God, to make every crooked place straight. We need you, oh, God, to bring high places down. We need you, oh, God, to pull low places up. We need you to be God in our lives even now. Oh, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, God, purge us. Wash us and cleanse us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And give us now, God, the joy of thy salvation. Oh, God, hallelujah. Give us the joy, oh, God, that strengthens us. The joy, oh, God, that renews our mind. Oh, God, hallelujah. But we come, hallelujah. Even as the deer panted after the water, God so my soul longeth after thee. God so my soul longeth after thee. I long for thee, Lord Jesus Christ. Oh God, I long for you. I long for your touch, for your presence, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, what can we do without your presence? What can we do, God, without your power? Oh, it is in you, and you, and you. God, we live, move, and have our being in the name of Jesus. Remember those, God, that are sick and shut in. Remember those that are backslidden. Remember those, God, that are incarcerated. Remember those that are locked up in their minds. Oh, God, in the name of Shoko, oh, in the name of Seke, in the name of soul, in the name of Jesus, break out, break out, break out. Spirit of the living God, Break out, break out, break out, break out. And none of us so, even as we lift you up, even as we worship you, we put you above. 
every circumstance, God, every situation, how I feel and how I think, how it looks and how it sounds. We place you above. We place you above it all. Knowing, oh God, knowing that you are the God whose word can shift and change and move. Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. In the name of Jesus, be with us tonight in the sanctuary. Be with us, oh God. Bless the speaker of the hour with a sword in her mouth, God, that she may speak the word of God with boldness, power, and demonstration of the Holy Ghost. We didn't come to play, but we came to worship the living God. And so, God, tonight, this is our request before you. And we ask it, God, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, the name that is above every name, we speak it with power and authority. In Jesus' name, I'm going to say amen. Clap your hands in the sanctuary. Come on, 30 seconds. Let's lift our voice tonight and tell the Lord how great he's been. Come on, grateful people, lift up your voice tonight. Hallelujah. He's wonderful. He's kind. And he's been gracious. Come on, clap your hands in the room tonight. Real simple song, y'all help us again tonight. The song simply says, oh, how wondrous is the name of the Lord. Clap your hands, everybody. Oh, how wondrous is the name of the Lord, how we worship. His name is to be adored. God, I may endure pain, guilt, and strife so that we might access our eternal life. Come on in the room. Clap your hands if you know that he's wonderful. Praise him. Help me. Oh, how wondrous. Oh, how wondrous. He Come on, everybody in the room, clap for tonight. One more time, T. Oh, how wondrous. Oh, how wondrous is, is the name of the Lord, how we worship. His name is who? His name is to be adored. God, I may endure pain. Endure pain, guilt, and strife, so that we might access, access our we. Come on in the room, let's lift it up in the house. I'm gone, mother. Listen. We are there. We, we stand and bless. We stand and bless your holy name. Your blood, yeah. Your blood has the All men. All men shall proclaim. There's power. We love you, Lord. We reverence your faith in this. We love you. Your name is sweet. Your joy. We love you. We reverence your faith in this. Listen. Jehovah Jireh, he who provides for us all our strong power. He hears and moves when we call Elohim, who created us from the dust. Jehovah Shammah, the Lord is present with us. Come on in the room, clap your hands, please. Let's get out of here, praise team. We are fair. We stand and bless. We stand and bless your holy name. Your blood, yeah. Your blood has to stop the shame. All men, men shall proclaim. There's power. There's power in your Everybody name. say, we love you. We love you. Come
Come on in the room. Your name is sweet. Your, name is so sweet. Your, joy. Your joy. We so love you. Oh, how wondrous is the name of the Lord. Praise him, y'all. Help me. We got 30 seconds. Oh, how wondrous. Oh, how wondrous is the name of the Lord. Oh, say. Oh, how wondrous is the name of the Lord. Y'all like it right there. Let's do it again. Oh, how wondrous. Oh, how wondrous. Let's work, T. Oh, 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 say. Oh, I want E in the name of the Lord. Oh, oh say. Oh, I want E in the name of the Lord. I'm done, lady. 30 seconds. Oh, I want this is the name. Yeah. Oh, I want E in the name of the all over the room. Let's go to church for 30 seconds. Say, oh, how wondrous. 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 Oh, how tonight hallelujah to give you all a word to make it to Sunday hallelujah because I'm not only speaking to you but I'm speaking to me tonight also hallelujah I need this midweek push hallelujah to make it to Pentecost Sunday hallelujah oh hallelujah I'm gonna try to do as much of this hour as I can hallelujah <laughs> hallelujah if you would go with me, hallelujah, to Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 7. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I absolutely love it too. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Is that Jeremiah 32? And That's the wrong scripture. That's the wrong one. I'll just read it from my tablet. I apologize. It says, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I might have wrote down the wrong scripture, but that's the one I wanted. Again, it says, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Hallelujah. Is there anything too hard for me? Hallelujah. So we're going to start out with the meaning of power. What is power? I'm glad you asked. Hallelujah. Power in the physical is force or strength. Hallelujah. This relates to man because we use power to do many things. Those who go to the gym and you lift weights, you need power. I can't go in there and lift it. I probably can lift about 10 pounds. Hallelujah. But we have others who have more power that can lift the weights. Hallelujah. And that's one reason. The second one is we use it in baseball to hit a home run. You have to have some power behind that bat. The bat is there to hit the ball, but it's not going to do it by itself. You have to have some type of force or some type of strength in order to swing the bat in order to hit a home run. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then there's willpower. Willpower. And that means control exerted to do something or restrain impulses. Now, we all know we have some not so good habits because we gave in to our willpower. We let willpower take over, knowing we shouldn't do certain things, but we still done it because we had a lack of willpower. Now we're going to talk about the power of God. Hallelujah. And that's my title for tonight the power of God. Hallelujah. For we know that the power of God is totally different from the power of man. Hallelujah. So we're going to talk about a few of them tonight if you would give me that opportunity to talk about them. So first tonight I want to talk about the first one is pronounced exousia. And that's E-X-O-U-S-I-A. It's a Greek word. Hallelujah. Which means authority. In the book of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 28 and 29, it says, And it came to pass, when Jesus had ended these sayings, the people were astonished and amazed at his doctrine. I want you to hear those two words, astonished and amazed at his doctrine. For he taught them as, having, as one having authority and not as the scribes. So Jesus did not teach based on authority that he learned. He did not go to any type of training. He didn't have any type of schooling. So he didn't teach off of that. That didn't amaze and astonish the people. What astonished them was he taught off the basis of his own authority. Of his own authority. Jesus then commissioned his disciples and he gave them a measure of the exousia to establish, to strengthen, and to settle the people. Oh, I'm sorry, that was the wrong part, but it's okay. Uh, he gave them exousia over to impure spirits. So when he sent them out to preach, they had the authority to control those unpure spirits that were out and about as they went all over the world preaching. Okay, so that's your first one, exousia. The next one is kratos. Kratos. This one means force. Now, all of these are different examples of the power of God. Okay? This one means force, strength, or dominion. In 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 10 through 11, it says, But the God of all grace, who, who hath called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after ye have suffered a while, made you perfect, establish, and strengthen you. To him be the glory and dominion huh, forever and ever amen so those two not saying that they're less than the next ones I'm going to go over but those were the first two that came up when I was doing my study so I want to talk about those two because when we get to the last one that's when it's going to go cuckoo the next one is energia which is divine energy or God giving of himself in a way to do his work. Now listen to this example. We all know the story about Moses, right? 
and how he was at the burning bush and God hit him in the cleft of the rock as he passed by. So this one in Ergia means he saves us so we're not destroyed. We can see his back, but he covers us with his hand as he passes by so we're not destroyed by his presence. Whew. Yes, that's the one that got me. I almost lost my mind at work today. I said, my God. Huh. So it says, after he passes by, then he takes his hand away so we can see his back, which is the Ignerga, but his face shall not be seen because if we see his face, we'll be utterly destroyed. Whew. So I have a few more. The next one is Iskus. And that one means strength. In Philippians chapter 4, verse 13, it says, I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens Iskus, me. Because Iskus means strength. We get our strength from God. He says he's our strength when we are weak. He makes us perfect when we are weak. It's all about his strength. We talk about his arms and we lean in on his everlasting arms, but his strength is not only in his arms. He has strength running up and through and down him. Hallelujah. So when we lean on his strength, it's not only leaning on his arms. Coming to this altar is his strength. Hallelujah. Being on your face is his strength. So we always, always operate, hallelujah, in excuse because it's the strength of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The next one is Deutimus. And I know we've all heard Dr. Curry talk about Deutimus power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I was a little leery with this one because I was like, how am I going to top Dr. Curry's talking about Deutimus power? I said, well, I'm going to do my best in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So dunamis means inherent strength. Inherent strength. This is the power that Jesus has given to the church. And he said we all need to rise up and walk in his dunamis power. We all don't do that. Hallelujah. Me included. Hallelujah. There are times I feel I do. And then there's times I know I don't. Notice I feel I do, but then I know I don't. So there's the difference right there because I know I'm not walking in his dunamis power. Hallelujah. I'm not walking in his inherent strength. Sometimes I feel weak. I feel despondent. I feel depressed. And those are the times I know I'm not walking in his dunamis power. But those times when I feel strengthened, hallelujah, and I can encourage my brother and sister, hallelujah, then I know for a fact. I'm walking in his dunamis power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His inerrant strength. Hallelujah. In Acts chapter 1 verse uh, 8 in the A clause, it says, but ye shall receive power. Hallelujah. That's that dunamis power. Hallelujah. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you. Hallelujah. So then this part kind of sparked something because I said, okay, I never heard this. It says the Holy Ghost it's God's dynamite power. So then when I thought about it, I said, hmm, when well we're here on Sundays and Wednesdays, hallelujah, and this corner go to praising, and then it jump off on this corner, then somebody back here go to praising, it prays up in the front. That's the dynamite, hallelujah. We always say, whoo, I can feel him, the Holy Ghost is moving, but that's the dynamite power of God, hallelujah. He's exploding all over the room, hallelujah, to get us to walk in his dunamis power, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It says there's no reason for the Holy Ghost, hallelujah, feel dunamis empowered believers, which is all of us in this room, everyone that's on live, hallelujah, everyone that belongs to this ministry, hallelujah. It is not for us, hallelujah, to live below our means, hallelujah. It is not for us, hallelujah, to live in fear, hallelujah. It is not for us, hallelujah, to live in bondage, hallelujah, or in lack, hallelujah, hallelujah, because Jesus has given us, hallelujah, that dunamis power, hallelujah, and with his power, hallelujah, people can be saved, hallelujah, people can be healed, hallelujah, they can be delivered, hallelujah, and they definitely can be set free, huh? hallelujah, huh? hallelujah, Hallelujah. I'm sorry, I got to get my other page up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But we are often like the multitudes. Hallelujah. Walking around. Hallelujah. Not operating in what.
what God called us to do. Hallelujah. We operate in what we see. Hallelujah. And how we feel. Hallelujah. We go from day to day. Hallelujah. I don't feel like it today. I'm going to go to church. Hallelujah. But I'm not going to praise God. Hallelujah. I'm just going to sit right here. Hallelujah. He knows I'm here. Hallelujah. He knows my heart. Hallelujah. But we say all those things. Hallelujah. But in his word. Hallelujah. It says I will bless the Lord at all times. He didn't say only in the good. He said at all times. When you feel like it. When you don't. When you're commanded. When you're not. Hallelujah. Pain in your body. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter. Hallelujah. He said bless him at all times. Hallelujah. So we can't sit here and dictate when we're going to praise him. When we're going to walk in his power. When we're going to walk in his strength. It should be an everyday occurrence. Hallelujah. And yes, I'm guilty as charged. Hallelujah. Because those times I don't feel like it. I don't do it. But when I'm commanded to bless the Lord, I'll pick them up and put them down. Hallelujah. I'll lift my hands. Hallelujah. And I'll definitely open up my mouth and give God the praise because he's worthy of it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let your dunamis fall, oh God. Strengthen your people, oh God. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus always operates in his authority. Hallelujah. He don't take a break. He don't say, mm, not today. Today is Thursday. I'm not going to do it. But he always in his power. He's always in authority. And because he is, we need to move accordingly. Hallelujah. We need to move, as they say, just like that. Hallelujah. We shouldn't wait. Hallelujah. Till someone says something that's going to spark something. Then you get the chill down your back. You throw your head and you do all that. We shouldn't wait for that. We say we're the church, right? We got God dwelling on the inside, right? So when you come in, your Holy Ghost should connect with her Holy Ghost. And you should move. Hallelujah. We should not wait. Hallelujah. For a word. Hallelujah. I wait for a certain word. And then I'm going to move. I'm going to wait for apostle to prophesy. Then I'm going to move. While he's teaching, I'm going to sit in my seat. I'm going to wait. When he gets to Hoopville, I'm going to jump up like I've been pushing him all this time. I'm going to wait till he prophesy. Houses and cars. New jobs and promotions. Settlements and money. I'm going to wait until he said. But what if he never do? What you come here for? Did you come here to be seen? Or did you come to bless the Lord? I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise, hallelujah, shall continually be in my mouth. Hallelujah, hallelujah. If he never prophesy again, if God never does anything again, he's done enough. You got breath in your body, the activity of your limbs. You woke up this morning. He called your name. Hallelujah. He breathed life into you. That's enough right there to bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Walk in your authority. Stop letting the enemy take control. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, my back hurt today. I'm going to sit here today. I got a headache today. I'm going to sit here today. Oh, my arm hurts. I'm going to sit here today. I got this paper cut. I'm going to sit here today. I stubbed my toe. I'm going to sit here today. No. Hallelujah. You can't do it. Hallelujah. And no, I'm not rebuking. Because I'm talking to me too. There's times I came. Hallelujah. And sat right there. And did absolutely nothing. Because I was saying, oh, my hip 
is hurting. But guess what? Huh? Hip or no hip, huh? Back or no back, huh? I will bless the Lord, huh? Hallelujah, huh? So I stand before all of you, huh? And I repent, God, huh? For not blessing you, huh? When I came into your house, huh? Even though your word says, huh? Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, huh? Enter into his courts with praise. I'm talking about the power of God. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. He's a worthy God. Woo. I thank him on tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Thank you, God. Oh, I feel the dunamis now. Hallelujah. Oh, I feel them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's something on the inside, huh? working on the outside, huh? hallelujah, huh? it's brought about a change in my life, huh? hallelujah, huh? Woo! God I thank you, huh? hallelujah, huh? Woo! I thank you Lord, huh? hallelujah, huh? hallelujah, huh? in Matthew chapter 5, I'm sorry, I done veered all the way off my notes, huh? hallelujah, huh? They talk about the contrast huh, of the teaching of Jesus and the scribes and Pharisees. Huh. Hallelujah. Huh. It says, have you heard that the ancients were told? Have you heard that it was said? Hallelujah. Because they have rehearsed a thing. We're going to go out huh, and this is what I'm going to say. And then you're going to say. They rehearsed a thing from their training. But yet again, Jesus didn't. He went off his own authority, off his own strength and power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It says their authority was not based in the scriptures. Hallelujah. But in what the teachers in the past had told them. So they went off of what they were taught. Hallelujah. And again, Jesus did not. So that's one difference. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Y'all don't understand. Hallelujah. It's hot up here. Hallelujah. And I don't mean heat hot. Hallelujah. I'm talking about the heat from the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, I thank you, God. Hallelujah. Woo, hallelujah. Woo, it's hard to keep your composure when you up here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Many want to be in this position. Hallelujah. You can have it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I will sit in the black chairs. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, I'll say it louder. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Huh. Thank you, God. I have lost my place. Hallelujah. But yet and still, hallelujah, if you come into his house, hallelujah, and you already have the Holy Ghost, hallelujah, hallelujah, and you connect with your brother and sister to your left and your right, hallelujah. The deuteronomy's power, hallelujah, will be in operation, hallelujah. God's strength, hallelujah, will be in operation, hallelujah. He'll give his angels charge, hallelujah, to be in the four corners of the building, hallelujah, to exert his deuteronomy's power, hallelujah. But you can't come in here, hallelujah, as if you were never filled, hallelujah. And just in case you wasn't, the altar is open, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, you can get a refilling, hallelujah, if you feel as if you have lost it, hallelujah, hallelujah, God, we thank you on tonight, hallelujah, 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 it says Jesus places himself as a judge, if you notice in Matthew chapter 7 verse 21, that is to Jesus, to the people come saying, Lord, Lord, their defense in Matthew 7 and 22 is given to Jesus based upon the doings in his name. Hallelujah. And it's to Jesus that condemns them in Matthew 7 and 23 saying, I never knew you. Depart from me. Let that not be us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whatever we do in word or deed, let's do it all in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I don't want to get to that point to where he tells me I never knew you. Hallelujah. And depart 
oh my God, I don't want it. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I don't want it. <clears throat> it says you practice lawlessness, meaning you're not even in the authority of Christ, but yet you're practicing. Hallelujah. This is all talking about the Sermon on the Mount, just in case you are wondering. Hallelujah. It says these are the declarations and commands of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who is God in human flesh, as Matthew has already declared in Matthew 1 and 23. In Matthew 3 and 17, it says you cannot read it all, but you can pick and choose what you agree with. <clears throat> and what you disagree with, with your own pleasure. That's up to you, what you agree with and what you disagree with. You either want it or you don't. You want to walk in his dudiments or you don't. You want to walk in the strength of God or you don't. It's your choice, hallelujah. No one is going to force it on you, hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it's your choosing. Hallelujah. But I tell you what, I'm going to choose to do it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <clears throat> I keep losing my place. I'm sorry. <laughs> it says, this is Jesus' manifesto of his kingdom program. It is a message that is to be taken as a whole revolving around one central theme. You cannot take Matthew chapter 5, verse 38 through 42, and use it as a support for pacifism. You have to put the verse back into its original context, meaning we cannot read a scripture and say, okay, this applies, this don't. I'm going to keep this, I'm going to throw that away. We can't do that. It says not to add nor take away from God's word. So you either agree with it or you don't. That's it. You either agree or you don't. <clears throat> I'm trying, Lady Gamble. I'm trying. <sighs> Thank you, Jesus. It says you cannot repeat the Lord's Prayer until you have put it into context and learned it in its pattern for prayer. Not a prayer to be thoughtlessly repeated, but you have to put it in its right context. Let me see if I can pull it up. Hold on. Ah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. <clears throat> He's worthy. Hallelujah. I'm trying to stretch out this hour, guys. Hallelujah. Because normally I'll be done. And I don't want to get fussed out by Dr. Curry, so I'm trying to do my best. <laughs> Hallelujah. So we're talking about the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forget of our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. It says, let's make this clear. There is no power in the words themselves. It's no power in the words themselves. It's all in how you say it. It's all in the context in which you say it. A lot of people say the Lord's Prayer. I know sinners that say the Lord's Prayer. There's still no power in those words, but it's all in the context in which you use it. If you really need him and all that really means something to you, then it's going to do something. You say it with some authority behind it. Our Father, hallelujah, which art in heaven, hallelujah, hallowed be thy name means honor his name thy kingdom come hallelujah thy will be done we want his will to be done in earth and in heaven in us and in heaven because we are the earth hallelujah so when we say in earth and in heaven we mean in us and in heaven hallelujah hallelujah for we are the earth hallelujah he made us from the dirt we are part of the earth hallelujah so anything that's done in heaven we want it done in us hallelujah hallelujah so when the angels go around hallelujah crying holy holy we should be here saying hallelujah thank you jesus we should be saying something hallelujah if it's going on in heaven let it go on here on earth hallelujah we can't let the angels out worship us hallelujah hallelujah it says on the every day they're crying holy holy are you saying holy, holy every day? Are you saying hallelujah? Thank you, Jesus. Are you saying anything? Is your mouth open? Hallelujah. 
They said that the mouth is the only organ on your body that never gets tired. Hallelujah. But yet and still, we'll come here and we'll sit down with our mouth closed as if God hasn't done anything for us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just ran down a whole bunch of things. Hallelujah. He kept you from accident and incident. He brought you here safely. Hallelujah. He let you travel to work safely. Hallelujah. It's the little things. Huh? The Bible says, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for me, hallelujah, all he's done, hallelujah, huh? I can blink my eyes, hallelujah, huh? I can hear the crowd, hallelujah, huh? I can open up my mouth, hallelujah, huh? I can clap my hands, hallelujah, huh? the little things, huh? when I think of his goodness, hallelujah, huh? I ought to respond back, hallelujah, huh? with the proper answer, hallelujah, huh? hallelujah, huh? you ought to let your soul cry out, huh? hallelujah, huh? thank you, Lord God, huh? thank you for your power, huh? thank you for your strength, oh God, huh? God, I thank you, hallelujah, huh? hallelujah, God, huh? for being in this place, oh God, huh? thank you for your dutiful power, huh? thank you for your ecclesia, huh? thank you, Lord God, huh? Thank you for the Jesus, hallelujah. Huh? Thank you, Lord God, huh? for your great toast, oh God. Huh? Thank you, oh God, for the exosia, huh? hallelujah. Huh? Thank you, oh God, huh? hallelujah, huh? for the isku, huh? hallelujah. Huh? When you put them all together, huh? that's God's power in operation. Huh? Many names, huh? but one power. Huh? Many meanings, huh? but one power. Huh? They all fall under the power of God, huh? Hallelujah, huh? Just like the fruit of the Spirit, huh? Nine, hallelujah, huh? Operating in one, huh? Hallelujah, huh? Oh, God, I thank you, huh? Hallelujah, huh? So think about it, huh? Every day, huh? His dudamus is at work, huh? His excuse is at work, huh? His echocasia is at work, huh? God, we thank you, huh? So since it's at work, huh? You might as well do your part, huh? And bless the Lord, huh? Put your hands together, huh? Open up your mouth, huh? Cause I'm done, huh? Hallelujah, huh? I'm finished, hallelujah, huh? There's only so much you can say about God's power, huh? Hallelujah, huh? Hallelujah, huh? Hallelujah, huh? You ought to turn to your neighbor, huh? And ask your neighbor, huh? Are you going to rise up to the dunamis power, huh? Hallelujah, huh? Are you going to walk, hallelujah, huh? In his ishkus, huh? Hallelujah, huh? Are you going to walk, hallelujah, huh? In the exios, huh? Hallelujah, huh? Are you gonna? Are you gonna? Huh? Because I am, huh? As of today, huh? Hallelujah, huh? I'm changing it, huh? Hallelujah, huh? No longer, hallelujah, huh? When I walk around, huh, with my head down, huh, despondent in my spirit, huh, feeling weak, huh, hallelujah, huh, feeling like I'm in bondage, huh, no longer after today, huh, hallelujah, huh, he said he didn't create us to be that way, huh, so I'm gonna walk, hallelujah, huh, in his created will for me, huh, hallelujah, huh, are you gonna walk in your created will, huh, or are you going to continue huh, the way that you are? Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? I close with Romans huh? chapter 1, huh? verse 16. Huh? It says, huh? For I am not ashamed huh? of the gospel of Christ, huh? for it is the power, huh? do miss, hallelujah, huh? of God unto salvation huh? to everyone that believeth. Huh? To the Jew first, hallelujah, huh? and also to the Greek, huh? to Lady Robinson, huh? and also to Sister Yanita, huh? to Tater, hallelujah, huh? to Sister Kim, hallelujah, huh? from Evangelist Hendricks, hallelujah, huh? to Minister Smith, hallelujah, from Pastor Curry, hallelujah, huh? to Providence Gamble, huh? it's no respect of person, huh? It's to everyone, huh? As long as you're not ashamed, huh? Are you ashamed, hallelujah, huh? Of God, huh? He said if you be ashamed of him, huh? He'll be 
ashamed of you before his father. Huh? I'm not ashamed. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? Everywhere I go, huh? I'll talk about the name of Jesus. Huh? I'll lift them up. Hallelujah. Huh? I'll have all men huh? drawn unto him. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? We have to go out huh? just like the disciples huh? to Judea, huh? to Jerusalem, huh? to Samaria, huh? to our local Walmart, huh? to our jobs, huh? to the next city over. Huh? We must spread this gospel. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? So everyone knows huh? about God's dunamis power. Huh? The power of God huh? in operation. Huh? God bless you. Whenever you talk about or preach about the power of God in a house, the power of God must show up in the house. And if you believe the power of God is in this house, come on and open up your mouth and give God a praise. Come on and open up your mouth. The power of God is here because she preached it. The power of God is here because she preached it. Open up your mouth and give the Most High God a praise. Come on, he's here. He's waiting for you to meet him here. He's waiting for you to give him praise. He's waiting for you to give him glory. She did her part. Now do your part. Open up your mouth and give him the glory that is due unto him. Open up your mouth and give God some praise. Open up your mouth and magnify the Most High God. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy of the glory. He's worthy of the honor. God, we thank you. We glorify you. We magnify you. We give you glory. There's none like you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. He's here, he's here on tonight. Hallelujah. Come on and open your mouth. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. If you don't know how to praise him, open up your mouth. The most high praise is hallelujah. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! It's midweek push. Push yourself. Hallelujah! 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 If you don't have it for yourself, say it for your neighbor. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Some of you texted and said you couldn't make it here on tonight. But I see you're here. Open up your mouth and say hallelujah. Some of you didn't want to make it. Some of you, the devil said, stay in your bed. Some of you had a headache. But because you made it, because you heard the word, because God is good, say hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on and put your hands together. The power of God. Did not God show up on tonight? Was he not in this place on tonight? Do you not feel him? Hallelujah. Woo, she preached on tonight, y'all. Y'all playing, but she preached on tonight. Y'all playing, I said. Elect evangelist preached on tonight. Okay, act like I said she preached on tonight. And she preached on the power of God. And whenever you preach on the power of God, God got to show up. When you preach on the power of God, there must be a praise that come behind the preaching. You act like you don't feel him. You act like she didn't preach. But when I think of the goodness of the word, and all the word, and all the power of God, and everything he's done 
your soul should be crying out hallelujah and it should end in a dance I said it should end in a dance we just got out of a celebration and I know the residue is still in the house and because she preached the word and she preached on power and she preached and she poured down heaven I feel I said I feel that we should end it in a dance just because my dad made it all the way to Florida on an airplane because my mom showed up on tonight because the word was good so many reasons why we should give him a praise he woke me up this morning he started me on my way come on corner girl give him a praise like he did it and he's gonna do it again and he's gonna do it again now god strengthen the evangelist uh, from the crowns uh, of her head uh, to the soles uh, of her feet. Uh, we ask that you restore uh, everything uh, back unto her uh, in the name of the power, uh, the power of God. Woo, my God. Dance, Mom. Yet I'm up Sunday. Hey, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank 
love you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. I said, Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. You're awesome. You're wonderful. You're almighty. Thank you kindly, God, for your many blessings. We adore you. We adore you, God. We adore you, God. We adore you, God. We adore you, God. Just another day that the Lord have kept us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In our right mind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
cover our Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, cover him as he rests, Lord God. Cover our mother, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, keep her safe, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, touch God. Bring in souls so that they may ask, what must we do in order to be saved? Fill up every black chair, Lord God, with your souls, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, bless us and bless us indeed. And we will give you the glory and we will give you the honor and we will lift up your name, Lord God. It is in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Grace and peace. Wow. What a word. Listen. We're not out of word, but we're out of time. Thank you for joining us, Freeman to the Apostolic Church. I'm the senior pastor, Dr. Keith K. Curry, for a wonderful service we have today. Join us again, 7 o'clock on Wednesdays, 7 p.m., our power, and every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. for our worship service. You can sow by the number that's on the screen right now. We have plenty of ways to give, and I want you to use those ways to tithe, give an offering. If something blessed you, sow a seed. We call it Sow With Your Growth. Listen, see us next time. My name is Dr. Keith K. Curry, and I approve this message.